Hi everybody, it's Dana Durfin. I'm back with another Fukushima quiz for the 11th anniversary. Uh, the question about the uh, tanks at Fukushima that they're going to be dumping into the ocean. They have apparently 1,000 tanks in 2022. In 2013, they also had 1,000 tanks. In 2014, they had 1,200 tanks. And in 2017, they had 900 tanks. In 2019, they had 1,000 tanks. In 2021, last year, they had 1,000 tanks. Nine years later, they still have 1,000 tanks. So what's going on here? No answer to how radioactive material leaked from the reactors. Unknown why reactor one exploded and don't know the reason for unit two releasing so much. Fukushima radioactive tanks may have already been emptied into the Pacific Ocean. And that the modeling that was done Maybe on the worse ocean... Than thought. Now, studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. There's actually over a thousand different fission products you need to worry about, and that is two sievers per liter that was going into the tanks, which means if you fill up a tank, it's so radioactive at 1.4 million sieverts you can't actually build another tank on the entire site. So the tanks were built to trick you into thinking they didn't pollute the Pacific Ocean. Maybe worse than nuclear plant. Which is what they actually Pacific done. water is being polluted. I counted the tanks, there's not 1,000, there's actually 750. We'll be back with another Fukushima quiz before the day is out.